pretty. Did you find something? We have had this mouse here for a while and it has been eluding the cats. There it is. Yep, there is the mouse. Pay attention, get that mouse. Where's Trooper? He's in my bedroom talking about something. Do you see it, Mom? Mm hmm, I do. What, hon? We're, okay, we're not shooting in the house, and I don't think that's something I wouldn't teach him. Okay, get it, pretty Come girl. on, pretty. You know, they're rodents, but why are they so darn cute? I yeah, know they are cute. <laughs> oh, there they it goes. Are cute. Pretty, get that mouse. Pretty. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there, Will. Pretty, you do have to help with Make sure the mouse doesn't go over there. What's your plan for this? Try to put the mouse in the box. Okay, good idea. All right, you want to stand over here and I'll try to scare it towards you? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to scare it. And then when you scare it on the floor, I'm going to... Okay, you have to be quick. They are quick. Tell me when you're ready, when you're in position. I feel like I'm in position. Okay. Wait, do I have to help you too? No, little mousy. Oh, get it. Ah, ah! Mister, 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 mister. Okay. He's back there in that corner. Oh, by the light. All the way in the corner by the light. Yeah, I see. Okay. There's a mouse. It escaped. it escaped to where? Oh, but it's running up the chimney. Oh. It is running up the chimney. Oh my goodness! Jim, All the way Jim, up the chimney. Jim. Do you guys see that? I saw that. What is it going to do at the top of that chimney? Going to get away from the cat. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? I'm okay. It's always a fun time when I'm here. Oh, it's awesome when you're here. Okay, <laughs> we have to talk first about this um, sensory deprivation business. Okay, oh, it's been so... a week and a half. What happened to you immediately following? <laughs> so I got a little cloudy in my ears, a lot of water in my ears. Even though I used the earplugs, right. I mean, I was very diligent about yes. making sure my ears were plugged. And I got an infection. Not, I mean... Right, you got sick. I mean, I got, got sick. I got, got real sick. Really sick. Yeah, from so much fluid in my ears. So, um, I had to so evacuate. The water. Evacuate my ear. <laughs> Will you do it again? Um, yes, but I would have to get like wax, yeah, like something. really wax earplugs, so that nothing gets in there. Because I could hear it sloshing oh, around. Okay, the, so um, I have fluid in my ears still. Okay, a week and a half. This one was wasn't so bad, but this one is. Oh, like this was my, this is mine. Um, I can hear it when I swallow. Yeah, like it makes oh, slush, 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 slush. Yeah. So I so. like you know lay on the side and do all these things. Um, what is okay, your best? I'm gonna to... go like this and then stick a hair dryer right here. Well, whatever. get ready. <laughs> get... <laughs> whatever works. I'm and this worried. lifting it up does what? It opens up the canal because okay. it's back behind like something that's in there. It is. I did yeah. research. It is. It is. <laughs> It's in, in my there. ear. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, oh, because Evan's like, why don't you just hold your head upside down? And I'm like, yeah, well, you know what? I sleep that way. So it, you would think if that's that was going to get said. it to come out, you know, whatever. But that's what I told him. And he said, well, you move when you sleep. Well, and I said, Evan. but I, I yeah, it's <laughs> Evan. And he's eight. <laughs> but I predominantly sleep on that side. So I thought, well, it will come well, out yeah. a week and a half later. It's, it's still, still there. there. I'm not okay with that. I use the earplugs. I know how to use earplugs. I mean, but. I mean, I twisted them, pulled my ear back, stuck them in so that they could expand in my ear and still. I, I don't still. think I'll do it again. You don't think? Oh, no, that's, it's a pain. Well. That sounds great. You know how when you put hairspray in a fire, it goes. Yes, I do. It explodes because of the heat causes pressure. Yes. We're not going to blow something up, are we? No, it's a potato gun. So that could be used for, for a potato gun. You would have like a big tube sprayed in, and then you would have an igniter where you'd push a button and igniter? it would ignite the um. What? 
He's telling me about an igniter and a gun. Igniter. It's only a potato gun. Look, look at it. What? Yeah, sparks. So this work? Why are you? What are you building a potato gun for? Shoot potatoes. For for what purpose? To get mice. <laughs> this all makes perfect sense. <laughs> Read this, Evan. You can't just put mice mouse uh, traps down or like poison or something like something <laughs> simple like, like, like a normal let's person let's would just do. try to maybe put some traps yeah, down with some peanut butter. butter. No, we oh, built yeah. a potato gun. Yeah, <laughs> well, this is homestead <laughs> life. <laughs> this is danger. Extremely flammable. Keep away from heat, sparks, and open flame. Do not swallow or breathe vapors. You. It's done. It says keep out of reach of children. <laughs> uh oh. You're not children. You're a braid, aren't you? No, I'm not children, I'm a child. Oh, you're a child. <laughs> not children. Oh, that's true. You got them there in a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> so you built, constructed this whole thing this morning. Yes. They... Boom. So Here's you... how it works. Okay. You take so... a potato and you shove on here. Yeah. And this is sharpened so it'll cut the plug out of the potato. Yeah. Then you take the rod and push a potato the whole way down to the bottom. Okay. There's a stop down there, a bolt, so it can't go too far. Okay. If it went too far, it would get stuck. Then right. You unscrew the back cap, take an extremely flammable substance, and give it a little squirt in there. Reinstall the cap. This is dangerous. This can't be safe. This igniter will be mounted inside here. In the chamber with a button down here somewhere. So you aim it where you want to go and you press a button and it makes a spark, ignites the gas that's in there, no. blows the potato at the end of the barrel. Okay, all right, all right. I don't even know where to start. Oh. Where, where did it could you... be called a bazooka. It could be called a bazooka. Where for, did... a, for a mouse! For a mouse! <laughs> uh, where did you learn this? I've known about this for 10 years. Probably. And you've probably been wanting to build one. Uh, you need to test it outdoors without Evan nearby, okay? He's my tester. We're not going to the ER today. It's a Fire our potato cannon. How did you build this potato cannon? Out of pipe. See how you put, push a potato in the end and cut it? Yeah. If you do that, you'll know it's sealed really good. And you gotta take your ramrod. Well, let's push this down first. Take like that. And take your ramrod. Put it all the way down to the bolt. Okay. See that little spur? That bolt right, right there. Um, See that little bolt that's yeah. holding it? There. So, so the potato is loaded. And ready to fire. Ready to fire. Fire in the hole. Are you sure this isn't dangerous? No. Can you guys help me catch Peggy? What's can wrong? Can you help me catch Peggy? Oh, I, I can get her to come to me. All you have to do is grab her. Can we shoot her with a potato? No. Let's, let's <laughs> catch her. Okay. We're going to go catch Peggy. Okay, so we're done with the chicken herding. Now we're just going to wait for Grandma to... Do our chicken chores, and then we're gonna fire the gun because she wants to see. We are outside getting ready to test the potato gun. This craziness is. Uh... Mom, what do you think of all this? I don't know why they're doing it. <laughs> because I, I won't let them fire a BB gun uh, in the house. The like they're gonna fire potatoes in the yeah, house though. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Like put a hole in the wall. <laughs> right. Because, you know, oh gosh. I said we haven't trusted anything yet, so I don't know if it's gonna fire or not. We uh, could have to make revisions here. See? Yeah. Nothing's happening. Maybe you need more. Um, so far, this is really boring. Fuel, huh? This is what I remember from when we were younger. We didn't have money to put food on the table, and he came home with a boat. Oh. Okay, so so he, he thought he could go fishing and get you he, food. I guess. <laughs> he just did whatever he wanted, okay. and she's a saint. She is a saint. <laughs> stop. we got to uh -oh. check our sparkle. All right, right here, test right? one fail. Okay, I'm going to get my hair dryer. Okay. You've got to fix my ear. 
I'll fix it. Because Listen, I, I have the magic touch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dry out your ear with a hair dryer. And well, you, I got you into this mess in the first you place. You really did. You know, now that I think about it, that is It's true. all my fault. Blame you me. You said lowest heat setting. Lowest setting. heat setting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tell me if it burns. It doesn't burn. I'm putting it on the middle one, but I'm not going to hold it that close to your Okay. Because I will burn it off now. Tell me if it gets too hot. It's getting close to too hot. That's better. <laughs> hot. Hot. Now. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just blowing it to see how. Now. Oh gosh. You know, like it's popping them. Can you feel it? You might feel it for a little bit, but you should do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I you, had it to does do it feel three a little times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Did you Google it? Everybody gets fluid in their ear and sensory deprivation bull crap. Wow. Hey. I mean stuff. Fine. I'll do horse riding on my own. Oh no. Time. That was yeah, fine. <laughs> It's different. And then when you fall off the horse and break your back or something, then I'm gonna blame you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Too much of the ignition, man. Oh. We only need a little. And oh. first of all, we were using the wrong stuff. That stuff doesn't work. So we tested it. He got the tube and, and he set it on one of those rocks over there, Mom. Yeah. And then he sprayed a little bit of that starting and got lighter, and it went out both sides except it was fire. But then we did it with hairspray and it was like this. But he found that hairspray works better. Yes. Well, he's going to have to buy his own hairspray because that's mine. He can't use all my hairspray. So I just discovered something really funny. I'm going to show you. Isn't that funny? He somehow got into the chicken fence and then he got out and went off. Oh, a bad, bad cat. Well, <laughs> we gotta get a better sparker. And you painted it black. Yeah. What special are, ops. Um. Okay. Special ops. What are you gonna do with this? We're gonna shoot potatoes. At what and why? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. What's the purpose? Well, on Saturday we can set up a target and have everybody try to shoot target with a potato. Well, gun. then you better perfect your method and your trigger. Grandma, here's some fruit chickens. Here. What? We can reuse it. No, at one point we're gonna Or it may just be a loading thing that we're having trouble with getting the right mixture of hairspray. And that in. is my brand new hairspray. Well, we'll go get some dollar store hairspray. Yeah, and I need a new can of the hairspray I like. Buy us some new hairspray. And I want that same exact kind. Don't point at your mom. <laughs> Where can you find it? Walmart. Uh, <laughs> it was a dud. <laughs>